Every bit of growth is worth celebrating. Inventory, shipment, You desire an audience, and what do you offer? Just for show.
here. Experience honed on the battlefield. <sighs> My energy's off the charts. My energy's off the charts. Well, victory is deserved. The medicine's more potent, so the price needs to match. Damien all safe and sound. Look who's here. Isn't that Lorson? How long has it been? Two years? Three? We've missed you. It's been quite long. Shani, do you know where Granny Dani is? We would like to introduce her to a new friend. New friend? Hmm. You're a light bearer. Are you really a wilder? We didn't recognize you in your foreign clothes. No outsiders are allowed into the forest at this point. Given that you're a friend of Lycar and Aeron, you must be a big deal. 
Oh, right. You're here for Master Dani. <sighs> Unfortunately, she's out of town. First the Thorn Guards, then the Light Bearer Mercenary. Master Dani must be quite distressed. Well, in that case, we'll have to wait until she comes back. Corrin's arms cannot wait. You guys handle the arguing part. I'm going to figure out how to make new prosthetic arms for Corrin. Do you mind waiting a bit? You could use this chance to wander around Lunadorf. Don't worry, people are friendly to travelers from afar. Mr. Corrin could use this as an opportunity to get some rest. Good question. Curiosity is the first step towards inspiration. And then comes the second step. Practice. Hurry, come with me. I've come up with new ideas for the arms. Let's go to the Wise Herb Garden. I want to show you how clever we Wilders can be. If this isn't Damien, here to find materials again. Many patrollers were sent out earlier to look for you. Where have you been? I accidentally ended up at the very depths of the labyrinth. No, Biggie. I'm back in one piece. Uncle Diane, are there quick vines in the garden? I need them for my new masterpiece. Certainly. They're in the southwest corner. Water them the way you used to. But hey, try not to use those weird potions for watering again. Last time, things were multiplying like crazy. Don't worry. I promise I won't this time. Thank you, Uncle Diane. I will go get some quick vines now.
Bit of experience, a bit of luck. Come on, you'll need my spear.
come on. You'll need my spear. You're not even worth getting up for. Well, victory is deserved. You're not even worth getting up for. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
You're not even worth getting up for. Well, let's begin our lesson. Everyone must pay a price. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great! You're not even worth getting up for.
Let's go with this look for the new prosthetics. Incredible. Even with such basic materials, they take form simply through cutting and carving. Yep. I've done it over a hundred times while working on the prototype. Besides, look! I handcrafted this crafting table and the wood carvings of the deer spirit behind the house. They're all random creations from my fun experiments. I never thought I'd see such exquisite craftsmanship in the dark forest. Corin, this is nothing compared to what you did for me. There's more impressive stuff coming up. The processing part is done up to this point. The next steps are a bit tricky and we'll need to gather some more materials. Finally! There you are! Master Dani has just returned and is waiting for you at the Sage's court. Aaron and Lyker have already headed there. Granny's back so soon! I need to finish working on these prosthetic arms. Why don't you go meet her first? I'm not interested in those complicated and dull grown-up matters. They mess with my creative thinking. Those light bearer mercenaries seem to be intentionally stirring up conflict between the Dark Forest and the Light Bearer Empire. The Thorn Guards are acting strangely as well. They sought to intensify the conflict, going as far as chasing Damien into the labyrinth. On top of everything, they tried to frame the disappearance of Damien on the Light Bearer refugees. If we hadn't arrived in time, the consequences would have been dire. While the Thorn Guards are traditionally conservative, why have they suddenly become so extreme? Must be Eirmia's idea. After hearing the Thorn Guard's report at the Sages meeting, his stance was very firm. Believing the outsiders had brought corruption to the forest, he implemented the Exclusion Edict. The Thorn Guards were all for his decision. However, Arden and I thought he was too quick to decide, and that's where the disagreement started. Granny Dani, did you end up arguing with Master Eirmia? Argue? I was merciful enough not to turn the meeting into an all-out verbal war. In short, the meeting ended on a sour note. Since then, Irmi has been avoiding me. Arden went off to explore the Verduso Mountains, with only occasional updates trickling in. Then I guess it's impossible for you to step in and ask Master Yomir to revoke the order. Me? I wouldn't have waited this long if that old man was willing to see me. Listen, even the three sages need to weigh and contemplate matters before deciding. Wisdom comes only when we free ourselves from blindly following old beliefs. Oh dear. Come forward. Let me take a closer look at you. Are you the mage who can cleanse the corruption? I left Lunadorf earlier because a new corruption site was discovered nearby. I have to monitor it regularly, just to be safe. What? The corruption has spread near the village? That's no good. The village will be in serious trouble if the corruption seeps into Lunos Lake. The little troublemaker has finally grown into a responsible young man. Lyca can stop worrying about you now. Cranny? <laughs> oh, to be young again. I'll entrust you youngsters with the task of clearing up the corruption around Lunadorf then. Brian, you stay here. Keep sending Arden messages through the wind and make sure he responds within the day. Yes, Master Dani.
else needs a little present? I come to protect. What? Come on. You're not even. Everyone must pay. <sighs> Time for work again. I patrolled the forest with the dusk patrollers. We only noticed corruption in the less visited spots. We've dug out the roots before, but since they spread too widely, we could only remove a nearby section to slow down the corruption. For the time being, let's make a note of these locations first. I have a pen and paper handy. just cleanse the corrupted roots. What do you think? The mage I brought in is quite impressive, right? He hasn't even said anything, and you're already asking for credit. Come on, I went all out to find him. There's got to be some credit from me, right? 
All right, friends. Let's not squabble like this in front of Granny Dani. <laughs> you kids are so restless. It'll still be a while before you can stand on your own. You're back. I've got everything ready for the ceremony. Final step in preparing the new prosthetics for Corin. Offering a prayer at the Deer Spirit Altar. Oh, my apologies. We haven't properly introduced you to the deity worshipped in the Dark Forest, have we? We worship the goddess of the earth and the rivers, Misate. Legend has it that whenever the Dark Forest faces calamity, Misate transforms into the Deer Spirit to guide us. As time passed, we sculptured statues of the Deer on major holidays or when facing crucial decisions. We offer prayers to Masate, asking for divine blessings. To pray for Masate's blessing so that Corin's new prosthetics can last for a good while. I took a close look at his previous arms. They lost their vitality due to extended use. It was only after blocking that attack for me that they stopped working completely. Though Miss Arte may not answer my prayer, I figured I should at least try. Well, worry not. I adjusted my design to ensure that they last longer than the previous ones. Sate above. I'm sure she has heard everyone's prayers. <laughs> Corin, how are your new arms? Aren't they easy to move around with? Yes. My arms. I can move them again. What do you think? They are my greatest invention. Just come to me if anything happens to them. Forget about that exclusion edict. Saving my life makes you a friend. There's no reason to keep friends outside. Yes. I owe you one. No, don't say that. You owe me, I owe you, blah blah blah. It's a meaningless cycle, isn't it? Save your thanks for Lyca and Aaron. They helped us too. All right. My dear Wilder friends, I've come to understand that the forest blockade is Yomir's decision. I made a mistake in my previous assumption. You've been accompanying Damien and me on this journey. Please accept my apologies. It's okay. Given the current chaos, we as children of the forest must share the responsibility. Laika Lawson and I were born and raised in the Dark Forest. We must bring order to our home once again. Magister. Can you do me a favor? Damien says my arms are not ready to fight anytime soon. So when you see Eomir... <laughs> I have faith in you. You must be exhausted from the journey. Granny Dani and Shani have arranged a place for you to rest. If you'd like a short nap, head to the house by the Wiser Herb Garden.
Chippy, do you remember when I was affected by the corrupting magic at the forest entrance? The magic emanating from the corruption felt identical to what I sensed in Southville. Is it possible that the same person is behind all this mess? Ah! Stop! You're giving yourself a headache! Chippy will cry if you collapse again! Magister, why haven't you gone to bed yet? You need some quality sleep to restore your magic. Gammy suggested that we take some time to think so you can get more rest. You must be really tired from the journey and the cleansing. Yes, but we haven't come up with anything yet. Before you reinforce the seal, didn't the mercenaries guarding the Great Fields mention a woman in black working with Lord France? I think there's a connection between the corruption here and what happened in Ryan. But so far, we haven't found any clues. Ideas, so Chippy is even more clueless. Chippy thinks those creepy tangled roots underground look like a huge spider web. Super scary! Magister, leave the guarding to me and Chippy. Go get a good night's sleep until you're fully rested. Hammy is right! Rest well, Magister! Tomorrow, we'll figure out how to get Ymir to lift that exclusion edict. Why are you still up? Is the place Granny Dani arranged not to your liking? As a guest from afar, it would be our fault if you couldn't rest well. Well, my mind is restless, so I thought I'd walk around the village. This tree, you see, was planted when Lunadorf was founded, imitating the Lucent tree. When I was young, I often saw people standing under this tree. I would ask them, if you have worries, why not pray at the Deer Spirit altar? And they said many things were too embarrassing to voice in front of Misate. Now, I understand that sentiment. Magister, while you were wandering the village, did anyone mention my title? Some call me the Scion of the Lucent Tree. The Lucent Tree is the sacred tree of the Dark Forest, and it is believed that a child born under its branches will be blessed by a Nisate. Everyone believes that I would bring peace and happiness to the forest. I've never met them. Was I abandoned by my parents, or was I blessed, as legend has it? It's meaningless to trace my lineage, because I don't feel any different from Laika Lawson and the others. But there's only one thing I can't forgive myself for. I wish to walk the path of the sword, and have no interest in living up to everyone's expectations. So, as Lawson said, I left. I left the forest and everything behind, dedicating myself to perfecting my swordsmanship, only upon my return did I realize that the forest had changed. I wield the weapon meant to protect the forest, but I've lost the will to protect it. You're right. Yet, being a member of the Wilder community, I have duties to fulfill. I'm not the hero everyone envisions. Just a selfish person avoiding his responsibilities. I deserve to be punished. Don't let my self-pity affect your mood. Go and get some rest.
Good to see you. Did you sleep well last night? Granny Dani, we've come to say goodbye. We're heading to the base of the Thorned Faction to find Eomir. We hope he'll reconsider the exclusion edict and ensure fair treatment for the refugees. Go on, teach that old man a lesson. He won't remember the forest's way of treating guests unless we remind him. Avoiding me is one thing, but if he can't even face a few youngsters, that old man will lose all his dignity. <laughs> Damien, we're getting ready to leave. Stay in the village and be careful with your inventions, or Granny will be after you with her umbrella stick. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't let her catch me while I'm working on my new explosive barrel. Lawson? What? Did I do something wrong again? No, oh, you did well. May the wind guide both you and him on your way.
Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great! Come out, my servant, and fight for me! You'll get what's coming to you! Well, victory is deserved.
like her. Aaron and Lawson. Why are you all in my dream? I don't think you did anything wrong. You just passed out after drinking too much calm flower tea. Am I awake? Why are even dreams so fleeting? I haven't repented to Miss Sartre yet. You don't look like a wilder from the way you dress. He is the mage Lawson invited back to cleanse the corruption. Parissa, I don't mean to sound rude, but do you really think the exclusion edict is a good idea? While it keeps out the corruption, it also shuts the door on others' good intentions. As the captain of the Thorn Guards, could you please urge Master Eamir to give the matter a second thought? The Thorn Guards look so tough! I didn't expect their captain to be such a beautiful lady. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns. Looks don't matter. What matters is the will to protect the forest. Besides, what captain? I am no longer captain of the Thorned Guards. The new captain has been chosen from the elite, but the ultimate authority lies with Master Eomir. I expressed my concerns about the exclusion edict and repeatedly advised Master Eomir to reconsider his decision. Unfortunately, he remains convinced that the corruption in the forest is caused by humans and that by sealing it off, we can cut off its source. Later, I was relieved of my duties due to my supposed incompetence and perceived disloyalty. My companions, including Vice Captain Kafra, were also reassigned. But wasn't it Emir who first saw your sense of responsibility and made you captain? It's probably due to my defiance. In any case, there's no longer a place for me in the camp. What you don't understand as an outlander is that with or without the title, I'm a member of the Thorned Guards. The Thorned Guards have been up to no good lately. As a former captain, I'm powerless to intervene or advise them. How can I face the people of Lunadorf and beg for shelter? Is that why you sought refuge in the Dream Realm just now? That was the only way I could repent to Misate. Where there's our hero, there's a way. Parissa, when faced with an outlander who can cleanse corruption, will Eomis stick to his earlier decision? His resistance to external support would drag the forest deeper into the mire, rather than helping our shared home. Scion of the Lucent Tree. Can you really cleanse the corruption? I guess there's no reason to doubt you, since both Aeron and Lyca spoke highly of you. Lyca of the Dusk Faction, Lawson of the Wind Faction, and the Scion of the Lucent Tree who is fated to save the Dark Forest. Of the three factions, only the Thorned Faction remains resistant to change. Come with me. I'll take you to Irmir. Drisga, 
We are here to see Master Eomir. Harisa, why are you here? Wait, no. You're no longer the captain. You have no right to enter the Thorn camp. Please, step aside and let us in. They all claimed you were conspiring with outsiders. I didn't believe it. But now it appears to be true. Why are you bringing a Dusk Patroller and a Wind Whisperer into our camp? You were once Master Eomir's most trusted advisor, and now you're defying his orders? Drizga, the Thorn Guard's mission is to protect the forest, not blindly champion the will of one sage. Now, are the Thorn Guard still worthy of being called the Guardians of the Forest? You're the one who betrayed us! Guards, get them out of here! Guards are tough. We still have a ways to go before reaching Ymir's tent. What? Will there be more battles like that ahead? That last battle made me want to turn tail and run. The Thorn Guards never slack off in training. We work hard to protect the forest. But what are they trying to protect now? Let's get going. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Alicia! Is she the same person as the lady in black conducting grape experiments in Ryham? What? She's in the dark forest. Who's this lady, Alicia, you're talking about? Not sure if they're the same person, but there must be some correlation between the corruption and the syndicate camp. Could she be behind the forest corruption as well? Too bad the parchment was incinerated. Only bits and pieces were left behind. Hopefully we'll stumble upon more clues later on. Well, victory is deserved. is deserved.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great!
Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great!
coming for you! Rest on and thrive. Well, victory is deserved. That woman, with the pale face and the long black dress. She has to be the lady in black who worked with Franz. We finally found the culprit. She's been using magic to corrupt the entire dark forest. Is it really the light bearers who are corrupting the forest? Could it be that Master Emir is right? No. Something seems off. Or something pale skin, a whiff of decay, no, no heartbeat. <gasps> She's a graveborn. Hmm. I've read about the realm of the graveborns, the Bantis kingdom, and tales of restless souls. But why did they suddenly appear in the dark forest? Wilders never interact with them, nor do we have any grudges. I see. So the corruption is created by foreign magic. No wonder neither sword nor flame can sever its regeneration. Would you mind having your familiar inspect the state of the corrupted roots, regenerated by that grave-born lady? Roger that! Leave it to Chippy! been particularly attentive to the distribution and direction of the corrupted roots along the way. Is there a significance to their distribution? Here, I've marked the recently corrupted area too. Oh, where the loosened tree is? How? If the corrupted roots underground are after the loose entry, then... The loose entry is the heart of the Dark Forest, a sacred symbol. The consequences would be unimaginable if it's corrupted. We need to tell Master Eomir who did all this. If we could get help from the Thorn Guards to find that grave-born lady, maybe it's not too late. Please.
for me. With the world has its own rules. Lounging around is my ultimate life goal. Thunder, delight me. 
forest wisdom. What is the next quest? Silence. 
What is the next quest? was a total success. The experiment was a total success. was a total success. Silence. What is the next quest? was a total success. You'll get what's coming to you!
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.